today's video will be a sit down, one brand makeup try on and review. I really wouldn't call it a tutorial because I didn't have a particular look or peg for this video. I just tried on the makeup products that I bought from the drugstore the other day and gave my honest opinions about them. Today's makeup products will be coming from the brand called Nichido. Nichido. Michido. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's here so you get the idea. Disclaimer! This video will be super sabaw because I started filming at 7 a.m. and I am not a morning person. Done with the disclaimers, let's get on with the video. So let's start. So first off, we have the BB Cream Everyday Wear and yung claims niya, skin lightening, lifting, moisturizing, soothing, and it also serves as a color corrector. Okay, so I actually tried this product before. Actually, lahat to tinry ko na before so that uh, mapag-isipan ko talaga yung opinion ko about them before telling it to you guys. And what I really like about this product is that it's very lightweight, it's not sticky, and para feeling mo wala ka lang suot sa mukha mo. Yeah, so it's a good base for a natural makeup look if pupunta ka lang ng school or ng work and you're not overly made up then I think this is a good base. As you can see, there are pimples right now. And I believe that there is a higher purpose. It's pa siya may higher purpose. <laughs> wow, existential hugot. Because I want to show if I can cover my BB cream my pimples. Ko. So using a beauty blender, I will just blend it out. Wala naman siyang weird smell or anything. As you can see, medyo, since light coverage lang siya, uh, medyo kita pa rin yung pimples ko and yung eye bugs. But then, baka mamaya kasi wala na talagang pag-asa yung eye bugs ko, kaya ganun. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, it costs 238 pesos. So next up, we have the foundation stick, which also serves, which also doubles as a concealer. So we'll see if kaya pa maagapa ng aking pimples na tong concealer slash foundation stick na to. So this costs 150 pesos and I got this in the lightest shade. Um, I'm not sure if I'm applying it correctly because I find it a bit hard to apply so I'm just using my fingers and blending it out with my fingers as well. Hindi ko alam if malaki lang ba talaga yung pimple ko or hindi siya nakakover nito. Okay, now moving on to my eye bags. Let's see if kaya niya. Also covering the redness on the sides of my nose and on my chin. In fair, medyo Alata pa ba? Medyo from a form, medyo hindi na. So next up, this is the final powder, which is kind of a translucent loose powder that you use to set your face. And actually, medyo matagal ko na tong binili. From what I remember, it costs around 150 pesos. And I've actually seen a lot of videos comparing this product to the Laura Mercier loose powder. And they say that it's actually a dupe which works just as well as the high-end product. Yeah, I use this. It comes with a sponge. I use this to set my face and to bake. Funny story. Mga a few months ago, hindi ko talaga alam kung para sa yung baking. Nakikita ko lang siya in tutorials. And then parang ako nakikigaya naman, nakikiuso, bandwagoner. So, yun, feeling ko ginagawa ko siya ng mali. And hindi ko alam para saan ba siya ginagamit. After actually researching about it, that it helps your concealer not to crease and for your uh, base to set well. So, you use it like this. Tataktak mo lang siya ng konti dun sa lid. And then you use the sponge. And you actually pat the powder where you applied your concealer or in the places that need to be set. Yan, yung mga oily parts of your face. Mukha ka lang tanga for a few minutes but tiis ganda. <laughs> I'll be brushing it away later. I'll just leave it on for a few minutes. 
plot twist. Hindi pa rin pala ako marunong mag-bake. <laughs> so, I'll be doing my eye makeup next. I got three eyeshadows from Michido. And these are in the shades Coco Pearl, Gold Frost, and Seashell. Seashell is also a highlighting shade. And for my crease shade, I'll be using Coco Pearl. And for my lid, itong Gold Frost. Oh, they are priced at 68 pesos each. Mura, de ba? What? What the hell? As I said, I tried out these products before, and what I really like about the eyeshadows is that they're very pigmented. Listen, wait, wait and see. What? Look at that. And you also get a lot of product in the pan, which I like. Because it's sulit siya for 68 pesos talaga. I guess what I just don't like about the products, the smell niya, medyo weird. Medyo amoy, amoy crayola. There's a factory smell to it. I don't know how to explain it. But then, then again, you don't smell your eyeshadow naman. Mas disturbing yung smell kapag yung lipstick yung may annoying smell. But for the eyeshadow, I can tolerate that. Oh, and siguro yung ayoko rin sa kanya, medyo powdery siya. So, I guess that makes it harder to control. And I also wish they had more matte shades. Kasi nung nagpunta ko dun sa drugstore, puro glittery yung shades nila. Sana, oh, mas may variety, mas maraming matte shades. Especially since I'm not a fan of glittery eyeshadows. I like my eyeshadows matte. Weird talaga with the powder. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just blending everything together so they look seamless. So parang yung, para lang hindi mo kayo yung pop of color, like, ginanan ko lang. Yeah, and then, ayan yung magiging powdery niya. Nahirapan ako i-control yung pag-apply ko sa, sa brush. Sa blush? Sa brush. Kasi medyo powdery nga siya. Okay, so I finished off both eyes. Now I am going to brush off the powder. And now I'm using this Nichido Mineral Call Pencil in the shade Onyx to line my eyes. Claims to be water resistant, but I haven't tested it yet. I haven't tried it on and then went out for a swim or tried it and then cried. But personally, I'm not a fan of this product. It's a bit hard to control and to apply. And the first time that I tried it on, uh, hindi ko alam if sabog lang ba ako or mahirap talaga siya i-control. Pero munti ko na matusok yung mata ko. So, maybe their uh, liquid eyeliners are better. But this one, I'm not crazy about. Okay, so I've lined both of my eyes. And good news, update guys. Hindi ko na natusok yung mata ko this time. So, I guess... I'm learning to control it better and I don't look too much like a panda, which is always a good thing. Now I'm moving on to the Eyelash Defining Mascara and I've actually used this product before but in the wrong shade. If you haven't watched my 500 peso makeup challenge, you can watch it here if you haven't yet. And give it a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, actually, this is just 97 pesos and it lengthens your lashes but it doesn't do a great job that much in voluminizing your lashes. There's also a tendency to clump. Pero if yung habol mo lang naman sa mascara is to lengthen your lashes, then go for this one. So we are done with the eyes and now we are going to the hard part, to the eyebrows. And this is the Nichido Eye Pencil in Dark Brown. And this is actually, I think, the most inexpensive brow product that I've ever bought. This is only 60 pesos. What? For me, it's a bit hard to control or it's a bit hard to use. But maybe that's just me because I'm used to using eyebrow pens or to yung wax pomade types. So, uh, medyo nanginibago ako dito. But I like that it comes with a brush. It makes it so much practical, especially when you're traveling. You don't have to bring a separate spoolie. I like that about it. I'm just going to line my brows naturally. I like that it's really waxy too. 
Another thing that I like about this is that it gives my brows a natural finish, a natural look as opposed to those Instagram brows that are overly done. So I think okay talaga yung niche the products if you're going for a natural everyday school work look. Next up, I'll be using this eyebrow gel. Uh, I'm going to be honest, hindi ako talaga gumagamit ng eyebrow gel or eyebrow mascara before. So I don't really know what this does for my brows. And when I first tried it, I couldn't tell the difference. So I really can't give a credible opinion on this because I think I need to use it a few more times before actually saying if it works for me or if it doesn't. But but right now I think that it does a pretty good job keeping my brows in place, I think. If ever I have a solid opinion about this already, I'll be putting it in the description box down below. Kasi ayaw ko naman magbigay ng review on this na hindi ako 100% sure about how I feel about it. Yun na naman talaga dapat in life, di ba? <laughs> Hala siya! Okay, this is the Nichido True Colors Powder Blush in the shade Sunkiss. And it costs 88 pesos per pan. I like that they're very pigmented, just like the eyeshadows. But they're also a bit powdery, so it's a bit hard to control. And sana madagdagan yun yung sot, more subtle and natural shades of blushes nila. Because most of the blushes that I saw, or at least in the branch na pinuntahan ko, ha, um, they're more of uh, pinks and coral, so medyo loud siya. You see, it's very pigmented. Konti lang yun nilagay ko, tas tinakta ko pa. And then, kitang kita mo talaga. So I'll be highlighting using the eyeshadow seashell. So I will just be highlighting under my brows, the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, and my chin. And also the highest part of my cheekbones. So last but not the least, we have my favorite among the bunch, the Nichido Satin Moist Lipstick comes in a really pretty shade, a nude pink shade. The shade is called Exposed, and it is priced at 150 pesos. Again, I've tried all of these products before, before filming this video, and I really like the pigmentation, and I like that it's not drying, it's hydrating, and I really love the shade. Actually, I'm kind of biased that this is my favorite ko among the bunch because I'm a lipstick kind of girl. So naturally, this would be my favorite product. Mm, natatakot lang ako since it's priced at 150 peso, pesos and that's really inexpensive. I'm just worried about the product, about the ingredients of this product. Kasi, alam mo na, nakaka-paranoid minsan na pag sobrang muna baka mamaya kung ano yung nakahalo. But, I don't know. I like it naman so far and when I tried it before, hindi naman siya nag-react sa lips ko. So I guess it's okay. This is the final look! Ara, ara. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked it, also leave a comment down below which brand I should try out and review next. Pero sana yung local drugstore brands muna since tagtipid tayo. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mara out!